This video is to showcase the Flexible Drone Delivery System in Ministry. We've got the schematic over here, a source or target vault over here, and we've got some drones that are already set up down here. These are all flares, it doesn't matter that they have some load on them or not, load just being some more. The way that this will work is we'll adjust what the kind of resource that we want to send by adjusting in these sorters by priority. And then the two switches control either whether or not the system's on. If this is turned on, drones are allocated. If it's turned off, they're deallocated. And the reset switch is used to change what our source or target blocks are in case we ever decide we want to change that. It's pre-configured to be set up with four flares. So if you want a different kind of unit, you type it there. Or if you have more or less that you want to use, change that over here. And then let's turn it on. So we'll activate it. That's going to get some drones. They'll by default report to the processor unless the player's in range and they're going to follow the player. We want that so that to pick, this will be our source block and we start to shoot at it. And now we know the source block is set up. Sometimes if you're shooting a bit too fast, it will pick both the same. This is a good time to showcase the reset switch. If that ever happens, which you'll find out because they're just only hanging out there and they won't follow out the player, click this reset switch and they'll go to report back for reassignment. So you only need to shoot enough to assign it. You can always check with this as a, uh, an output block and then we'll define this one as our target and they'll start firing resources back and forth for us now. We could go the other way. We've again reset the system so now they're following me and this time I want to deliver from the, the nucleus. Didn't get that because the flare wasn't in range of where the block was although my drone was and now they've picked this up and they're going to try to deliver here. The block was full that's why they couldn't deliver enough. So we'll put that back to the way it was just to be able to show that it's continuing to work. So we got our source. I again click too fast. You only really need one or two good clicks while you're shooting. And you can't click directly on one of your main containers because it'll just show you the resources that are in it. We still see that that's zero, 00, so now we've set that back up. So our link is reestablished and they're faring resources back and forth. We can get multiple copies of this. And when in the early game before you have Thorium, there's a small version as well. So we'll make another copy of the large version. We'll make two just to show that it doesn't matter what kind of source or target. So it can also work with containers or it can work, work with uh, factories as well. For the factory, we'll have the nucleus delivering out to the factory for some basic production. It could go the other way, but this will be good enough to show the the requirements. Make sure that has some power so once it's receiving. Now for this factory we only need two resources. We can make these null and they'll just not not do anything when they detect. Grab a couple of drones and we're going to supply from the nucleus to there. If they start with a load, it's not intelligent enough to clear the existing load, but it is good enough to figure out what it needs and then to ferry it out. They're just going to hang out there because the load's already full, so it's assuming that you have an output of some kind, so we'll set up a basic output. Now those will keep producing and they'll keep that factory supplied. You wouldn't want to do this normally for a single factory except sometimes in an early game. Uh, normally you'd have a container or something to feed that system. For another case, we'll have resources from the nucleus 
to this container. So say we need to supply multiple factories. So we have to shoot off onto the nucleus and then onto con container and then the link is established and that will flow back and forth. Let's say that you've set this up early on and but you're, you don't you have another supply and you don't really need that one anymore. You can always see which group of processors it is. If you decide, well, I need that for something else now. That's as simple as keeping that. Keep in mind, you can build those schematics back by the base. So, okay, I need to reassign this now. So that now they've reported back and they're following me looking for where do we go next? So we'll assign this one. and this one and now they'll ferry back and forth. If you decide part way, oh I actually need to change what the kind of resources are, you just do that by changing these selectors and they'll start picking up new resources. So that's it for the flexible drone delivery that has all the features included. Hopefully it's useful for your builds. Uh, I'll post the schematic details in the links and have a good day.